Hello, my name is Kark32, and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. Last episode, we went ahead and uh, finally revealed our new base. We are going to do an auto water theme, and uh, yeah, I think this will I think this will look pretty cool once we start expanding it and get a whole bunch of kind of like underwater corridors with all the glass. And uh, I think I may switch out the glass for a nicer uh, variety. I'm not a huge fan of the vanilla glass, but uh, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, once I get like the the exchanging, yeah, the exchanging gadget from building gadgets, maybe I'll look into that. But uh, yeah, so far I'm liking this. I didn't do a very big. Kind of dome at first because early on in the pack um it's a bit difficult uh, to get <laughs> building stuff underwater especially with like a dome thankfully we have that uh the what is it, extra utilities uh building guide for that but uh yeah i think the next one we'll probably do the advanced building guide because i think that can place down the blocks for me which would be much easier than me trying to swim and use sponges and yeah these guys thankfully these guys can't attack me through the glass that would have made me sad if that was going to be a problem but uh it's kind of fun to watch but damn look how many of there are <laughs> there's just so many anyway uh last episode we also finished or right at the very end we got a demonic will uh, because we needed one for crafting up the, the wand, the resonating wand. Oh, so right over there. Yeah. Oh. I was just like, ah, I just realized I left the <laughs> the work table up at the base. I'm going to have to go get that. We'll break it down. So we'll do the resonating wand. That will let us craft... Um, some of the astral stuff. One of the things I want to get is um, some starlight. I think our, uh, what's that? Like the, the light well? Light well? Is that the thing you melt like the aquamarine down in? I think it's the light well, isn't it? Like, yeah, I guess we'll have to take that as well. I don't have an axe on me. Do people usually, uh, do you guys carry around an axe on you normally? I don't usually ever carry an axe, just a pickaxe. So when like items require an axe, like storage drawers, it is <laughs> it's really annoying to me because I never uh, never carry an axe around. I'm sure there's like a all-in-one tool that uh, isn't that. I can't remember what. Is it like AWOL or something it was called? I remember seeing that. It was like AWOL. No. Oh. I feel like that was like an all-in-one tool. I remember seeing that in a mod pack somewhere. I don't remember what mod pack that was, but I don't remember that being a thing. Um, where do we want to put this? Maybe down kind of in the ground. I was half expecting there to be water there. That is the one issue. Well, there's more than one issue, but um, when building underwater, if I accidentally break like a piece of glass because I'm mining something out, like if I'm mining this and I accidentally break it too fast and break that, then we got a flood and then it breaks all the uh, torches. And yeah, it's a bit of a pain. But uh, all right, I am curious if this is going to get moonlight. New. I had a feeling that might be an issue underwater. Um, so I'm probably going to have to, if I want to use that, I'm thinking maybe like build something out here or something like that. Uh, just for the crafting, because yeah, it looks like underwater is not going to work, which is not super surprising. Or I could just do a... I think it would, well, we're going to have to build like a whole thing for it anyway. Yeah, what am I talking about? We'll probably do that on the surface, maybe. 
at some point uh, once we have to do the upgraded versions of this so i am overthinking that but yeah i guess we'll use this it's kind of a usually i use the first demonic will for uh but we usually use it for um hellfire forge yeah that don't usually use that i can't remember So I don't have to, or the sentient sword. Is that what I usually use it for? I can't remember what I usually use the first one, but I don't usually. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I use the will to craft the sentient sword. That's what I do. But uh, yeah, we're not going to do that right now because as we saw, the Hellfire Forge is really gated. We got block of demon metal. Uh, I think we have, do we have living rock yet? No, I don't think we do have living rock yet. Mana Steel. I mean, this isn't far in, but Blood Orb. We need, um... Astral Source? I've never heard of those before. That's an Astral Sorcery? <laughs> what are the, uh... What is the altar? How's that? Yeah. Demonic Well. We'll have to get that again. Anyway, it was easy enough spawning in a a mob to get it but uh yeah let's go ahead and craft this up still kind of getting used to my base now i am running low on zinc i've been using zinc for the brass but we are running low on zinc and i believe that's like uh, sphalerites. Usually you get that from the nether. So not looking forward to that. But, all right, so two brass. We do have a couple pieces of marble, I believe. And hmm, I didn't bring the... I don't have a whole lot of room in this little, <laughs> this little thing yet. So we're definitely... I'm going to be expanding this as soon as I... Get some time, which hopefully by next episode I'll have a little bit more built out. But, uh, yeah. So there's the brass, and then we need marble. Where did I put my marble? I think I put that in, put it in there. I think we may be able to use this rune stuff. Nope. Although I don't know. Any stone marble. Maybe not the ruined marble. Can we I can't remember. Can we do anything? No, I don't think we can. I'm pretty sure that doesn't. What's the Let me do F3. But it says still normal, doesn't it? Oh, I don't have the thing in. That's right. That's right. I don't have any mana in there. I believe that you can use that. Yeah, because that's stone marble. What is the other one? That doesn't have any. <laughs> no more dictionary for that. Uh, what about that? No. Can I turn this? Ah, you can turn it into Astral with a mana pool. All right, that's good to know, at least. But hopefully I won't need... Oh, that goes in. Goes in there. Um, I th hopefully won't be getting any more of that room, because I do have the... I remember where I put it. Uh oh, where did I put that pickaxe? <laughs> I may have left it up there. The pickaxe that does silk touch. I did. The problem with moving everything. I may have left it up in the base. All right. Uh, let me go get some mana. 
nighttime. I gotta wait for daytime to run up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's nighttime. I gotta run up to the top up there and we'll get some mana and then we'll get the resonating one crafted up. Okay, we are back. There you got the mana buck up uh from the top the base and uh there is the <laughs> There is the pickaxe. I knew I had it somewhere, but uh, I brought this down, and uh, just in case we need it, I actually don't know. Well, we'll probably get. Yeah, you know, we probably won't need it yet, but eh, right there, I guess it's fine. So uh, let's go ahead and oops, do that. Yeah, and there we go. There is the resonating wand. Perfect. Bibbidi boppity boo. <laughs> so. There we go. It does give us some aquamarine, and some XP, which is pretty cool. The resonate one allows you to discover hidden rock crystal ores as well as function as the primary tool. I don't remember ever using it for rock crystal, actually. All right. Well, there is a quest for aquamarine, and we got it from the quest running from that key ingredient. Don't have technology to rough find them from Sapphire yet. Blueberry smoothie, I will take it. Alright, um, I was looking at Liquid Starlight and actually found out there is a lot of things you can actually put in there. Well, Yellow Niter will give us Starlight, Primordial Pearls, Nether Star Lens. Look at this, Mana Diamonds, Dragonstone, Flawless Diamond, Sapphire, Lapis. Um, Astral Enriched Egg, though, I believe will be the main way I get Liquid Starlight. Um, and this is used in a crafting altar, the tier, this is the what, the tier kind of two crafting altar. So this one's really not that far away, to be honest. So I'm thinking, is that, I think that may be where I want to kind of go. The infused wood is what we use to get living wood, I believe. Isn't that what we... I'm trying to remember, not living wood. Um, yeah, living wood. Isn't it from Batania? Where is not? Yeah, living wood. Yeah, vibrant infused wood, not the infused wood. All right, so we do need liquid starlight there to get that. Um, deep beneath the surface, want to put that in your hand or offhand and look across the surface at night. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Is that going to work? Was that a guardian? I just saw bubbles. Was That That must have been a guardian. Ah, oh, yeah, that was the guardian. Um... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's see. Oh, it's daytime. I don't think it shows up during daytime. There's the base down there. I may have to wait for night for rock crystal. Just the dynamic trio. It will grow over time and randomly change. I don't... Is this... I don't think I've ever heard of those before. I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, all right, so what do I want to do? Do we want, I guess, uh, the light well is kind of what, light well I want to work towards and the upgraded altar. Now, what are we kind of looking at? I was like, oh, that's not too bad to get to, but of course, not thinking that it's probably changed. All right, this is actually too cold to handle. All right, we'll probably need those mittens or whatever for those. All right, that's not bad. We do need to find some crystals. and Yeah, that's actually not that bad at all. Um, we do need to build the altar around it, though. All right, let me wait till nighttime. And then... Um... Oh, there's salt ore. Wasn't I looking for salt ore? Hmm. All right, so apparently <laughs> there is salt ore in... It maybe it doesn't spawn. Maybe we have to create it. Maybe that's what it was. But all right, um, I do need 
Let's see, the light well. Let me check out the light well really quick and see what we're looking at with this. Ah, there we go. More. We definitely need Rocco Soul. We got the plates and marble though. Basic lens is okay. Well, that's easy enough. And now we have the resonating wand. So we can craft that. I do need to find rock crystal low. All right. So we're going to have to wait for night. And then we'll see. I don't know, like, with the water, is it going to show? I actually have no idea. So this will be interesting to see. Uh, okay, we are back. And um, I, I think that's... That's what we're looking for, is it? I, let me look run upstairs really quick. And okay, yeah, there's actually quite a lot of rock crystal. I feel like that's more than usual, isn't it? There's a few right under the base, so that's kind of cool. I guess we'll just kind of dig down. Like right, I feel like it's right, right here maybe. There's, it's only they only spawn in like one block now i probably shouldn't be digging <laughs> straight down i'm um, also probably should have just grabbed my the other yeah it's... yeah look at them all actually we don't oh actually no i was like in, if you're in the cave thing all right yeah see there's not there's nothing below us there doesn't seem to be many caves in this, just ravines, to be honest. And it's right down at the bottom, I believe. Right? I think. Yeah, definitely should have brought <laughs> the... Bad why why is there dirt down here? Alright, where we we don't yeah, we I was just gonna say I'm like there we can't vein mine out, can we? Vein mining makes this so much easier. I wonder if it's under the dirt. Oh, hello. It's around here somewhere. Let me dig out a little bit more. I may run up and grab thing to dig out this stuff oh there it is look at that found it all right so it does spawn underneath the dirt so that is something to keep in mind uh we got two i believe wait do i not have i thought i had no i don't i was thinking i had um that's right i was thinking i had uh I'm actually going to listen. I was thinking I had fortune on this, but that it, I didn't do that in this mod pack. That was Enigmatica 2 that I put fortune on it. Um, because I just got an autoclave. I couldn't. That's right. All right. The I believe the amount of crystals you get from the rock crystals, um, you get more if you have fortune, I believe. Could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that because I remember I've broken that stuff in the past and gotten like eight crystals from it. But uh, yeah, I was totally thinking I had it on there, but I don't. All right, but there is the rock crystals. That's pretty cool. I really should start looking in some better food as well. All right, but uh, yeah, there is a lot of. It seems like there's a lot of rock crystals around, so that is. Pretty cool too. Just uh, do that. So we got that. Got some more lapis, some levels. I guess I don't really need to turn in the levels, but we will anyway. What is this? Ah, electrolyzer. Ooh, mortars. Motors and another circuit? Yes, please. I'll take those. Just throw them in there for now. All right, but we got that that so yeah this is next we're gonna need some more marble what did we do was it and i'm trying to remember the 
porcelain it was, wasn't it? It was porcelain bricks we put around. The, where did I put my porcelain? Also, I didn't bring the chicken down. I should do that. We... This works in here, I hope. I have noticed some recipes show up. Alright, there is a hellfire can. Sometimes there is a smelting recipe and there's not a hellfire kiln recipe, but uh, that one does have one, which is cool. Alright, this was this was how we got it, right? The marble? Yes, alright, cool. Um, I don't know how much marble we're going to have to doing this way eventually yeah there's easier ways to get it marble dust Did we get that from the other marble no i don't i'm trying to the marble cobblestone we get i really don't think there is any way other than yeah you can't pulverize this down into yeah dust or anything all right that's cool we got some Lapis, so I should probably throw some on my pick, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to worry about that too much because once we start processing all our metals and stuff, I'm still trying to remember where I put all the stuff. Yeah, you get so much of this stuff from you get 12 lapis from one of these. It's not. It's really not that big of a deal. Greg Tech Packs, Lapis on your pick, Luck on your pick, isn't usually that important. Alright, so there is that. Let's do this. We did... Yeah, we did fortify it so we can do this, right? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Now that we have Silk Tusk, we don't have to worry about not getting the correct item. Alright, I do need some glass. We have glass here. That that what was it again? Not that one. Um, we need light well. Let me put the light well over there. This. All right, I was close. There we go. Now we are gonna have to put this up, and I need to hurry up because it's dark. <laughs> I could just have. Nah, I don't want to do that. I was thinking we could just do like a pillar of glass all the way up to the surface, but nah. Alright, it's there. So I need five pieces of... need five pieces of marble. We'll just throw that one back. Alright, uh, chisel. We have a chisel. So the light well, we need three ruined and two chiseled marble. So, ru no ruined. We need chiseled. Is that not a thing that we can do? No, there's chiseled marble. I need one more. Oh. All right. <laughs> well. Uh, that's a bit awkward. I used the ruined marble that I had from before instead of making more. That's very awkward. <laughs> uh, all right. Not the end of the world, but uh, yeah, I don't remember. We got this from a quest, didn't we? We only got the one. I don't remember where we got the rest of the rune marble, but yeah, there's no... This has a chisel recipe. Rune marble does not. All right. Steel. Looks like... Like chisel in the middle, and then... All right. Let's, um... We need a... Oh, I'm gonna need more. Yeah, I'm going to need more. I need to go get more porcelain as well. 
I have a few here. Um, we get we have tons of porcelain from that that chicken. That's not an issue at all anymore. But all right, I also didn't bring the crafting table down. Let me get the rest of this uh, for this. We just need some steel wire. Now we we can do steel wire now because we have the wire mill. I only have one steel ingot. Oh well. I'm gonna need more steel. What am I talking about? This is gonna give me no. This gets me eight, right? Yeah, let me get. Let me go grab the arcane crafting table. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. There is our ruined marble. Easy enough to do. So is that? My two chiseled marble. Forget that. Let me just empty my thing a little bit. Got that. All right. Yeah, I just need two iron. Iron is over here. I'm doing. Yeah, we drain that really fast when I'm running machines, but they're not running a lot by the time they're slowly filling back up. And I can also uh, do that and get quite a lot of steam just from a one single steam solar boiler, as we can saw, uh, for 16 minutes. But as we can see, I am gaining so much time from this. All right, we do need night time unfortunately let me i guess we'll just kind of build out a little bit i don't know eventually i'm gonna have something a little bit better than this this is just pretty temporary also why does oil why is it like lit up like why is it like that's my base why is that it up why is an oil thing a source of lights i guess so that yeah we're getting a bit we might be able to i don't know is that 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 rock crystal Right, there we go. There is the thing. I believe we might be able to get it. Yeah, we do. We have enough. Uh, if it doesn't work, you don't have enough light. But we. this is such an easy recipe. We, we get enough starlight even during the day. But all right, there is our light well. Nice. Fluid conduits, straw, and a... Oh, we didn't get the whole thing. We need to... We need to get a bucket of the stuff now. Question is, do we want to use aqua? I mean, that's easy enough to get. Yeah, I'm not going to stress too much about. You could even throw a rock crystal in. I think you get more from that, but I'm not going to do that. So basically, you just put a whatever you're going to use for the liquid starlight. And, um, yeah, I'm sure certain things give more before it breaks. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, basically, kind of need to work. I guess we just work towards that, to be honest. Wait a second. Does that need... Does that need to be a view of the sky? I may have just wasted that. If it's not going to work, it doesn't look like it's working. I have a feeling if I break this, it's we're not going to get that back. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's try up here, then. Yeah. It may... Yeah. All right. Astral sorcery may be a bit of an issue with an underwater base. <laughs> I'm noticing. 
because a lot of this is causing some issues. But uh, all right, there we go. Aquamarine is just going to melt down and we'll get... Um, I think it's just random. It probably is like every every tick has a chance and the longer it's been in there, the higher the chance it has is kind of my guess how it works. But I really don't know. Because it is pretty random, I think. But we're getting a decent amount. So we need a bucket of liquid starlight and uh new type of steel infused with essentials you found. Oh, the thaumium. That's talking about thaumium. Pretty cool. All right. Star metal ore is mined on the moon. You not, cannot create this like... All right. So star metal, it can only be gotten from the moon that... That cannot be transformed. That's good. Good to know. All right, and there is a tree beacon. We also want to work towards that. We do need a whole bucket of it. Um, so question is... Do we want to... Uh, should I push... I think the easiest thing would be to push for those chickens. I think before I start using buckets of liquid starlight for other stuff, I think we should push towards this, to be honest. So we have the rock crystal. We have this. We just need thaumium. So thaumium, I'm assuming, is what is the kind of intended route to get thaumium. Hellfire Kiln, Thaumium Ingot. All right, let's see. Great for Great Tick Tool. Okay, well, that doesn't. <laughs> Is it just the normal way you get it, Thaumium, in a crucible? Is that. All right, I'm pretty sure that's the intended route. Easy enough, yeah. All right. Let me get. To... I almost have a half bucket. Yeah, let's get some thaumium and we'll get we'll get this thing crafted up, I think, today. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, I am back and I actually didn't realize I had 35 of those uh precantio, whatever it's called, in my chest. So I crafted up some chisels. I found a, I was reading on the uh FTB Discord and uh found out they have a nine of the Precantio on it. It does have a little extra, but these are a good source for the um, Thaumium that we're gonna craft up. And then for the Terra, we're gonna do that. So yeah, we need five and five. There is extra on that. Um, I'm just gonna use these up to get them out of my inventory. Um, but I do have a couple of these sliver things. So we'll drop one of those in there. One of those in there. There we go. Actually, I'm just going to throw all this in. I don't think it should cause... Yeah, there we go. And then... Alright, there we go. It doesn't... I wasn't sure if it actually, like, used those up. Uh, it does not. Oh, you can actually make these pretty easy, too. Uh, it does require liquid starlight. Not a lot, but uh, we're kind of... Yeah, we're kind of getting there. Oh, that... You can just do it chip service quartz with that. All right, I think I'm going to need to be getting a sifter here pretty quickly as well. But, uh, all right, that's good to see. So there is the three thaumium. Let's just turn those into plates. Throw that in there. Throw that away. Uh, I've just been making a bunch of marble. I got all the porcelain from the chicken, all uh, the porcelain clay. So I have lots of porcelain bricks. And all right, I think that is it. I do need those gloves. I'm assuming these gloves work on... I'm assuming they work on cold as well. I'm actually not sure, to be honest. <laughs> All right, uh, there. I was kind of curious also if. Take that out. We were taking damage. Um, the one aquamarine filled us up, and then 
it wasn't obviously it was completely full so it wasn't uh using it. i wasn't sure if it was going to get destroyed but uh it apparently does get destroyed even if it's not producing liquid starlight so that is something to keep in mind but uh i think i'm just kind of guessing if this is the recipe yes i don't know if we need more all right we didn't actually all right cool uh it does not need a a bunch of power to craft that but uh yeah this is the upgrade for the next altar finishes like it is crafted right i'm assuming it's working yeah there it goes all right so there is the the next altar um obviously it doesn't work because we need to do like a little bit of a multi-block um but uh unfortunately we are out of time so we won't be able to do that so uh maybe yeah maybe next oh that's nice i actually only need to do one i could have gotten with the the thing but uh yeah next episode we'll come back and uh, we'll get the uh, the altar built, and we'll get a astral trick in, so we can start producing astral enriched eggs, and that will be like unlimited liquid starlight. So that is pretty cool. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.